Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 3 of season 2 of My Next Life as a Villainess. BTW, I am so sorry that this is so fucking late. I did not mean for this to be late. My mom needed my help, and at the same time, I'm over here telling this woman, like, I gotta get this done! This is the only thing I need to get done for the day, even though I wanted to do a fucking Patreon show today as well. But when it comes to my mom... And her needing help, it comes first. So, uh, once again, I am so sorry for this to be coming out at, like, 7, 730, 8 o'clock at night. Did not want this to come out <laughs> so effing late. But other than that, it's going to get started with episode 3. And 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, yeah, because, like, yeah, I forgot. She got kidnapped last week. Is it a ransom? <laughs> so three. I got kidnapped. <laughs> hmm? Okay. Yeah. Why? Oh, you pretty. Love the glasses. Hmm? Why you though? Why? Mm hmm <laughs> I mean, well, you know what happens, boo? Say that like it was normal. Oh my god, don't <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't think your mom will say that. I mean, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and of course, you know, in order to get her bag, you know, money. Don't talk about that because we need to. Never trust the hot guys, you know. Never trust the hot guys. Also, never trust the hot blonde guys. <gasps> See, okay, it, it's 6 30 right now. I am hungry as hell. I haven't really eaten, eaten since like. The last thing I had was pretzels. <laughs> and we just got back from the store too. <laughs> so imagine being in a grocery store and you are hungry as fuck. <laughs> oh, 
why are you so fine? Like, oh my god, like, huh? Seriously? What if he already knows and he's just not saying anything to him? Yeah. Because, you know, I would have assumed that she would have plotted something for her escape. And she hasn't done anything. (laughs) Maybe last night? Was she possibly one of the kidnappers? I mean, because she seems a little too sweet to, you know, kidnap Katarina, but I mean, hey, you never know. I mean, because we know, yeah, she did it, but it, it's still, like, effed up. And she had to be one of them to, like, you know, assist in the kidnapping, you know? It's fine. (laughs) I mean, once again, it wouldn't surprise me if Katarina, you know, I think because she likes to hear a little too much, she ain't going to blot her escape. Yes, please. Can we get that answer? (laughs) Yeah. Sir, can you whisper in my ear like that, please? Because, like, oh... Because, see, he has something to do with it. This is now the second time where he's come up to her and, like, did something to her. What the hell is going on? Oh, I heard a cat. Because, of course, I don't... You can tell Selena's not in on this, but... Something about this is really, really weird. Oh, there's my husband bundle right there. Mm. Nine minutes in, and where the heck is Maria? (laughs) 
Oh. Is it Katarina? Just because she's popular doesn't mean... <laughs> oh, we know. <laughs> we know! <laughs> yeah, because you know Katarina just sees you as a friend. Just a really close friend. I mean, because once again, everyone is in love with Katarina. I mean, you know, this girl probably got like the biggest harem of like all the harems. <laughs> Why are you so fine? Like, oh my god. <sighs> Girl is knocked out me. <laughs> Okay, now, Selena, are you going to tell what the heck is going on? Girl, nah, she fine. Of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, Selena. <laughs> yeah. 
Because Selena's being controlled by him. We just don't know how powerful he is. Wait, no, Mary. <laughs> Mary, no, no. Oh. Well, maybe Raphael can help. I mean, he is now here for a reason. Girl, she fine. Yeah, she's okay. She eating good. She sleeping good. Just, you know, once again, you would have assumed that, you know, Katarina would have made her escape, but... No. <laughs> no, it's okay. Everyone gets jealous all the time. It's fine. <clears throat> Oh, she kind of reminds me of, um, Aida from the scene. Well, because he, you know, Aida, I don't think Aida would <laughs> kidnap, stay, thank God. <laughs> You might get exiled or maybe even killed. No, so cute. No. Oh, he's so cute. No. Oh. <clears throat> No, no, don't see that.
But if you really, truly love him, you would ask him. Yeah. <clears throat> well, now someone told you. Yeah, let, let's not do that again, please. Like, oh, oh my God. Honey. <laughs> honey, honey, honey. <laughs> was you y your mother ever you would end right there that is so mean okay all right selena i, I love even though what the heck happened in this episode oh my god you still feel bad for her because precious baby is Katarina gonna get home safe? I have no freaking clue right now. Like, I, I need her to get home safe. I need her to get back to her girlfriends and boyfriends and be like, Oh my god, everybody, I missed you so much. Oh uh, god, I hated being alone. Even though I had food and, you know, toiletries and everything. And, you know, I was kind of independent, but not at the same time. But I did miss you guys a lot. <laughs> It's either that or, of course, the, the plan that, you know, Gerardo and everyone else is making to possibly go out and find her, bring her back home and such and find out, you know, the reason of why Selena and her butler are doing this. Mainly more of her butler and the the woman who is also currently taking over of caring um, for Selena and Katarina, but right now I have no freaking clue what the heck is gonna happen next. But of course, those two have to be the bad guys. Come on now, especially the guy. Like he, he already seems hella weird. So it makes me now want to go back and rewatch the opening of this season because it. it, it I mean, we're only on episode one. Episode one. Episode three, Deja. Oh my god, I am so sorry. Um. So essentially, like, it is really interesting to see if, okay, if he truly is the big bad of this season, it's interesting to see him a lot early on. Instead of, like, how with season one with Raphael, we finally didn't get to know about him until very close to the end of the series. And three episodes into season two, and we're already seeing the big bad, like, right here and now. And possible, possibly he maybe has, like, an organization of more people a part of his group. 
who is you know a- around them at all times like let's say you know they do get Katarina back and such and these two go into hiding and let's say they go to this next like dinner party or ball or um gathering or ish like that they could possibly be around look how easy it was last week to get Katarina and kidnap her and such so yeah it seems like these this the butler and the woman who was also working with him they're kind of almost like two steps ahead of everybody else and such and so now it's like <laughs> Katarina's harem <laughs> has to pick up the fe- the pieces just to find out where she is and find out why they're doing this because right now like we know that you that okay for Selena she just wants you know her prince Ian to ascend to the throne but there has to be something else of um what the reason why they're doing this of course like you know how it's like when okay let's say someone has a plan where they're like this is what i want to do i want to overthrow overrule or overthrow the kingdom and let's say in that organization whatever you have another group like the main plan of or overthrowing the kingdom you have another group that is like planning something else so like a betrayal between the <laughs> a betrayal within a betrayal maybe we're getting that i don't know i mean this is episode three and you know my guess is good as nothing until we get to next friday but honestly really who knows because i don't know i mean y'all probably know especially for the you know light novel readers like you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> but like i said let's just hope and pray katarina is able to come home safely and so that you know she's with her fiance and her brother and her girlfriend maria <laughs> and then mary and then her boyfriends and everything because all i want is them to be together she's i'm okay she's more happier when she's around them hell i'm happy when they're all around each other and such and so now it's like when katarina is not around them it feels really like sad and such it's almost like okay like oh my god it's like that one episode of sailor moon or several episodes of sailor moon where like Sitharun herself feels depressed and then the rest of the group feels depressed as well it's like that like you feel so sad that she's not with them and it's like oh my god we need to be together just to make everything you know okay and it's like that so hopefully you know we get a reunion next week but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode three of season two of my next life as a villainess if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the magical squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episode four once again i am so 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 sorry that this is so many hours late once again i did not mean for this to be out this late like i said helping my mom when she needs help always comes first so hopefully this does not happen next friday but until then i will see you guys all next time bye